Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Have you ever been in a situation where you see crazy injustice going on? It's almost, you can't fathom how this is happening. And yet those that are doing the wronging, those who are oppressing, they're not being blamed. They're not being taken to justice, not being made accountable. And you're furious. It's natural. What do you do in that case? If you're like most people, what they do is they look at that oppressor and they say, he's wrong. Look what he did. Look what she did. Look how evil they are. Look at this. Look at these horrible, these victims. Look what happened to them. He did that. It's a normal reaction. But what if we want to take it another level up? What if we want to develop ourselves, push ourselves higher to a higher mindset? Let's look at the example of the Prophet ﷺ. When the Sahaba came to him, they were in Mecca. They were some of the first Muslims. They're getting oppressed. They're getting torn apart. Okay? And they're strong people. And they truly believe in the Shahada when they say it. They're real believers. But they ran out of patience. They go to Prophet ﷺ. They said, when is the help of Allah coming? When can we get out of this? This is crazy. Like, we've been patient. We do believe in you. We do believe in Allah. We do believe the help is coming. No doubt. We have tawakkul. But like, this is crazy. This is kind of a crazy level. Okay? What did the Prophet ﷺ do? Did he feed into that idea of, you know, they did it. You're right. These mushrikeen, they did this, this, this. Poor you guys, masakeen. You know, he didn't do that. What did he do? He gave them an example. He said, there were believers before you and they were tortured terribly. The, a, a blade was used to cut them in two. Cut them in two. Their flesh was uh, pulled from their bones. But you, the Sahaba, you, you guys are too hasty. You've got to be more patient. Now, there are many lessons obviously to take from this, but I use it to move on to the topic of being responsible and asking yourself, what can I do? What can I do? When you see that great injustice, yes, there are victims, there's the oppressor, the oppressor is not being held accountable right now. Ask yourself, what can I do? Look for a way to blame yourself. Now, this might sound strange, it might sound crazy, but this is the most empowering thing you can do. Instead of pointing fingers or feeling sorry, the most productive and powerful thing to do is say, where did I go wrong? Why is that powerful? It's because it puts, it puts the narrative to you. It puts the power in your hands to then you go and do something. Oh, maybe the Muslims are weak because of some of my sins. So you fix up your sins. Maybe, you know, they didn't feel uh, uh, safe enough because I didn't talk to them. I didn't give my number. I didn't speak to them, check up on them. They felt weak. They got pushed. They got bullied. They, they weren't able to stand up for themselves because I didn't give them that support. There are a hundred reasons we can always find for how we could have done better. And so that is the message of this story. This is the message of this video, is to look into yourself. Whenever you're outraged, whenever you're frustrated even, you miss the bus, you miss this, find the reason that it was your fault. It's very counterintuitive, but it's very powerful. Once you do that, you start taking responsibility for everything. It's a big burden because there are so many wrong things out there. But once you take them all on your back and you start thinking, what can I do? To What's in my hands to change it? What could I have done better? All of a sudden you turn into this empowered, productive person working towards the small betterment of the world in a scale that is, is available to you to control. This is my message for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.